welcome to this workout. Today we're going to do all walk and tone workout. So you need a pair of dumbbells, light ones, and no other equipment is needed. So get ready and let's go. Okay, here we go. We're starting this workout straight into the exercises. But before we do that, just circling the arms a few times to get the blood in the arms. So fast circles to the front. And then when we are arm in the upper body, we're going to pick up the weights and starting this walking, toning workout. Two different sets of two sets, the same exercises, 10 different exercises we're going to do. Circle to the front. And final ones to the back. That's it, swing it out. And now grab your weights because we're going to build it up during the exercises. We do two sets and 10 exercises, water break in between, and we finish with a cool down and a bit of stretching, mostly of course upper body. So it's a great way to get your steps in and tone your body a little bit more. So make sure the weights are not too heavy. We're starting with a march and a shoulder roll. So just slightly bend your arms, make sure your wrists are in a straight line, upper body straight up, shoulders low, chest up, and there we go. Just marching on spot and circling the shoulders. We do every exercise for a minute and we go straight into the next one. Do every exercise on your own pace. So rotate the shoulders, keep on marching on spot, circling to the front. And of course, we're going to reverse the shoulder roll right now. Keep on marching, but circle backwards. Still keeping your arms slightly bended, wrist in a straight line, pull your belly in and getting the steps in. And from the shoulder rolls, we're going to add a side step and then a rowing movement with the arms. Small rows, elbows towards the body and we're pulling back. We're going to do that right now. So just pull and step. So stretch out your arms, do not overstretch it, and then pull back, elbows small in your waistline while making a side step. Shoulders low, chest up, that's it. Soft knees, slightly bended, and row. When you row back, bring the shoulder blades together. Keep making the steps, we don't wanna stand still in this walk and zone workout today. Row, row, small ones. And we stay at the side steps, but in the next exercise, every time we step to the side, we're going to press up a little bit to the side as well. Keep on rowing, five more seconds. And then from the rows, we're going to press up right now. So press, press. So the waist are on the shoulders, do not rest on the shoulders, but on shoulder height. And every time you step to the side, you press that arm up. Do not overstretch above your head, just a little bit to the side. Keep making the steps, big ones. Press it out. Walk it. Press it out, lower the weight on chest height and then press out again. Do not overstretch your arms. 20 seconds left. And then we're going to march on spot again, making bicep curls. Final 10 seconds of presses. Big side steps. Press it out. Final ones. And march on spot making the bicep curls. You can do singles or just both together. Whatever you wanna do. Working the biceps, I go for the singles. It's a nice pace. Keep on marching, lifting the knees up. Upper body is straight 
and try to keep your elbows still and keep the tension on your biceps. So do not swing those arms down. Ah, powerful moves. Marching on spot. Engage your abs. Pull that belly in. That's it, keep going, 20 seconds. Marching and keep on curling. And from the marching curls, we're going to do side steps. And then we have the weights in a 90 degree angled arms. And we're squeezing the shoulder blades together and opening the arms up. Just follow me along. Going to do that right now. So 90 degree angle, side steps and open up. Every time you open up, try to bring the shoulder blades together. So squeeze it. I call it a shoulder blade squeeze. So add a step and open your arms. Try to keep your elbows still. So do not swing those arms. Keep the elbows still and just bringing the weights to the back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. That's it. Squeeze it. Keep making the steps. I want to get those steps in today and tone the body all in one workout. Come on, keep on squeezing, opening up, chest up, shoulders down low. And from a single side step, we're going over to a double side step and we make a flutter move with the arms, bring the weights up and down a little bit. Ready? And double, up, double. So just a double side step, bring the weights up and down. So you keep the weights up in front of you, tuck your belly in, engage your core. You don't want to lean back with that upper body. Keep your shoulders straight above the hips and bend your arms a little bit. Do not overstretch, lifting the shoulders up. Relax your shoulders. Just bring the weights up and down a little bit. Double to the side. Come on. Left and flutter those weights up and down, up and down. 20 more seconds. And then we go back to a march on spot. We're going to press the weights down. Come on, keep the weights up. You can do this. Don't lower down. Double steps. To the left. One more to the right. And march on spot. And while we're marching, we're going to press the weights down. So lean over a little bit, press it down, and twist the shoulders in a little bit. Make sure you tuck your belly in and keep your back straight. And really try to press and pull, working your core while marching on spot. Come on, press it, press it. Keep your elbows small when pulling up. Oh, press and row, keep going. Back straight, belly in. Keep going, 20 more seconds. Then we're going back to the side steps. Regular ones, single ones. And we're going to add a side raise. Working the side of the shoulders. But first, 10 more seconds of pressing marches. Up, come on, press that way down. And come on up. Side step with a single side raise. Chest up, shoulders low, slightly bend that arm, wrist in a straight line while lifting that weight up, and big steps. Come on. Just two more exercises after this one, then we have a water break. So come on, raise that weight up and shoulder height, making big steps from side to side. Raise it up, tuck your belly in, Relax your shoulders, lift up your chest. That's it. 20 more seconds. And now we're going to do a twist in step and a tricep extension. 10 more seconds. Outside races. And then just follow me along. Going to repeat all the exercises in round number two. Final race. And then twist it in. So you keep the weights on chest height, and every time you twist step, you extend that arm. Shoulders down low, lift up your chest, so do not scrunch your shoulders up, down and open. And every time you make that extension, try to have your elbows still, 
Twist it in. Twist it in. That's it. Toe into the floor, a little twist, and then you extend. So do not swing those arms. It doesn't do anything good. Come on, power. Try to work your triceps while getting the steps in and keeping the heart rate up. 15 seconds left, and then we're going to tap back and make a front raise. Come on, final ones. Extend, five seconds, and stepping back, up, up. So you just step back, and while you step back, the opposite hand is raising in front. Show you from the side. Make sure you have your upper body straight up. Tuck your belly in. Arm is slightly bended, wrist in a straight line, and just raise up. Tap it back. It's the final one before the water breaks. So have a minute left. Keep on tapping. Knees slightly bent. Come on, keep making the steps. Don't stand still. And raise up. Up. Lift your chest up. Make your upper body long. 15 seconds left. Tap it and lift. Lift. Just a few more. Final ones, right, left, right, left, and that's it. Okay, drop your weights. You finished the first round. Now have a water break, drink some water, and then prepare yourself for round number two. We do the same 10 exercise and we finish with a bit of stretching. Okay, round number two, same 10 exercises, so grab your dumbbells again. We're starting with a march on spot with the shoulder rolls. So you're starting easy again, get ready and go. Marching and roll the shoulders, roll the shoulders. So lift up, bring to the front and keep on marching. Time to get the steps in, get the heart rate up, rotate the shoulders up and have a minute front and then we're going to reverse those shoulder rolls backwards come on making the steps marching on spot lift up your chest and reverse the shoulder rolls to the back backward circles lift up open up and don't stand still keep marching want to get those steps in as much as we can in this workout 15 seconds left and then we're going over to the side step and a small rows. Final five seconds. Can do a few shoulder rolls and over to the side step. Bend the weights in front and pull back. Big side steps. Knees are slightly bended. Chest up, shoulders low and row. Elbows small. Pull your elbows back to your waistline, then press the weights out in front. That's it. Have your wrist in a straight line and keep on moving. From left to right, small rows. A row and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Making the steps. Come on. Tap it, 15 seconds. Then we stay in the side steps. We're going to press that weight up. Final five seconds of rows. Small ones. And press it out. Press it out. So the weights are going back to the shoulder. And then you press that weight out a little bit to the side. Do not overstretch. Make the steps big. Tuck your belly in, that's it, come on, stay active, press it out, left and right, left and right, that's it, just keep going, 
on your own pace. And from the single side steps, we're going to do that march with the bicep curls in 15 seconds. So keep on pressing, bring that weight up, tuck that belly in, don't lean back. Come on, final five presses, and then back to the march on spot right now. Marching and curl those biceps. Make sure you do not swing too much. Elbows are still working the biceps. Come on, powerful march. Tuck your belly in and bring the weights towards the shoulders. Do not overstretch, lowering the weights down, drop it. Guide them up, guide them down. Power, power, power. That's it. Come on, keep making the steps and curl the weights up. Curl, 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 working the biceps, toning that upper body. Make sure you tuck your belly and engage your core as well. Come on, keep moving. 15 seconds, and then we go for the side step with the shoulder squeezes. So we're going to open up, the arms are in the 90 degree angle, and just opening up, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Right now, so open, open, that's it. Elbows are still, make big steps again. Make them as big as you can. And go in your own pace. Getting the steps in, keep that heart rate up a little bit and open up. Do not swing too much, guide it up. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Tuck your belly in. You don't want to squeeze and a hollow back. Just have a tight core and then open in your arms. Big steps. Lift your chest up and keep going. And from the single side steps, we're going over to the doubles and making that flutter move with the arms. A little bit up and down. In five seconds. So open up, squeeze the shoulder blades together just a few more times. And over to the double. Double. Shoulders down low, lift your chest up, tuck your belly in. And just bring the weights up and down a little bit. You don't have to make big moves, just keep the weights up and chest high and slowly go up and down. But keep the weights up, arms are slightly bended, wrist in a straight line, and make a double side step. You can do this. It's a real burner for the shoulder, but don't think about that. Just ignore that burn and keep on stepping. Doubles. The next one is that marching on spot with the down presses. So we bend over a little bit and press the weights down in 15 seconds. So come on, keep the weights up. Don't let them down. Up. You can do this. You are very strong. Come on. Up, final one and march on spot. Press and row, press and row. Twist in that upper body just a little bit, but make sure you have your back straight, tuck your belly in. Row, row, press, press. So you press the weights down, twist in the shoulder in, and then row that arm up. Elbow small. Come on, keep on marching. Lift the feet off the floor. That's it. Keep on going, and from that march with the rope press, we're going to do the side step with the side raise again. But first, just keep on pressing, twist that upper body in a little bit. Come on, tuck the belly in, keep your back straight, lift your feet up. 15 seconds. Up, 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 marching. That's it, almost there. Five seconds, and... Come on up, side step with that side raise. Big steps from side to side, bringing that weight up on chest height and lowering it down. Do not touch it to the leg, dropping it down. Just keep the tension on the shoulder a little bit. Up. So keep that weight up a little bit. Yes, that's it. Up. Always keep the tension on your muscles while working out. 
Lift your chest up, relax your shoulders, push them down, only lifting that arm up. 20 more seconds. Then we go over to the twist step with a tricep extension. Come on, raise up. Keep tucking your belly in, squeeze your abs. Knees are slightly bent. Final five seconds. Then twist and extensions. All right, now, weights on the chest. Then twist in, up, and again, elbows are still, press that weight down, extend, extend, shoulder blades together, chest up, that's it, so you don't want to do this, shoulders to front and up, open up, and then extend, that's it, twist it in, knees are slightly bent, just twist, tap, twist, tap, half a minute left, and then just one more exercise. Doing that back step with that front raise. Come on, extend, keep your elbows still, working your triceps up and down, 15 seconds. Twist in, upper body is still up straight. Up, twist, final five seconds, and then over to the final exercise already. There we go, step it back and raise that weight up in front. And the same here, do not drop that weight till it touches your leg. Just keep it up, above your leg, keeping the tension on your muscles. That's it. Upper body straight up, tuck your belly in, chest up, shoulders are down and relaxed. Up. Come on, it's the final one. Wrist in a straight line. Arms are slightly bent, tap it back. Come on, keeping the steps. You're almost there. Do not quit now. Keep it up. 20 seconds left. Raise the weights up. Come on, lift up your chest. Make yourself long and keep tapping back. Final 10 seconds. Raise up. All right, left, right. Almost there. Last ones. And that's it. Okay, now drop the weights because the main workout is over. Now what we're going to do is just doing some stretches for the upper body. In the first round, stand, keep on moving, don't stand still already, but slow it down. And what we're going to do is the arm circles. Just like we did before we started, Ale, now a little bit slower. And reverse, up. Reverse, slow down that pace and focus on your breathing. Big circles, opening up. That's it, one more and come stand still. Swing your arms front and back and when you swing back, really lift up your chest, opening up. Bring the shoulder blades together, cross. Releasing all the tension out of the upper body. We did a lot of steps and now we're going to stretch the shoulder and also the calf. So make a big step back, press that heel into the floor and then your left arm is going in front. Reach out and pull that arm towards your chest so you can feel that stretch in your shoulder and shoulder blade. And keep pressing that heel down to stretch your calves because we did a lot of steps. And then release. And switch over to the other side. Big step back with left, press that heel down into the floor. And now right arm is going to the front, stretching it up. Make sure you have that shoulder down low, reaching out. And then pull that arm towards your chest to feel that stretch. And don't forget to press that heel down. Upper body is straight up. Just hold it a second. And really swing it out. Now the next thing we're going to do is just grab your fingers off your left hand and then pull the fingers towards your body and opening up. So press your palm down and your fingers up so you can feel that stretch on your wrist and on your forearm. Up, shoulders down low. Play a little bit with that angle. Feel where you need that stretch the most. And release, other side, grab your right fingers, 
palm down, fingers towards your body and feel that stretch. Just feel that stretch. Hold it a second and release. Now interlace your fingers and rotate. Rotate. Releasing the tension out of your wrists. That's it. And shake it out. And now spread your fingers. That hand is going between your shoulder blades. Try to touch your shoulder. Then pull on your elbow towards your body and a little bit back. You can feel that stretch on your tricep and opening up your chest as well a little bit. So that hand is touching your shoulder from the back side. I will show you. And then pull that arm towards your head and a little bit back. And then release, doing the same stretch on the other side. Spread your fingers and behind your head. Then pull on your shoulder and try to touch your shoulder. Opening up, bring that arm toward your head and back a little bit. That's it. Just feel that stretch. And really shake it out. And now one final stretch. Feet are on hip wide, slightly bend the knees, hands on your knees, and then just rotate. Because we want to release the tension out of the knees, the ankles as well. We did a lot of steps. So rotate. And reverse. Reverse. One more. And then find your balance, rotating just the ankles, lifting that leg up to the outside and to the inside. Doing that same on the other side. Find your balance, rotate that feet, releasing the tension out of your ankles because of the lot of steps. And then to the inside, rotate. And we're finishing with shaking out, releasing all the tension out of the lower body first. And then bend over, shake out the upper body, releasing all the tension. Shake out your hands and that's it. Very, very well done. You finished this walk and tone workout. I hope you enjoyed it. You hope you liked it. Leave a comment. Let me know what is your favorite move. And if you want to see those workouts more often. Don't forget to give yourself that well-deserved thumbs up. Be proud and I wish you a great day. Bye.